So I'm listening to morning radio this morning. I'm down here in South Florida, 104.3 Miami, 92.3 in New York. It's uh, Kane, Corey, and Riley, right? <laughs> this guy, Corey, starts talking about how he started to take boxing, but in a serious way. Like he's a fighter. All these YouTubers and internet stars are fighters. So I called up and told him, yo, give it a rest. You want to work out? You want to be a, 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 a soccer mom type of workout? Dude, go ahead and go be my guest and do it. But now these guys are starting to talk like they're all fighters, like they're all pros, or they can take on pros. So I gave the radio station a call. And that's the pro and that's the problem with the internet generation. This instant gratification, this instant reality thing right away. What a stupid generation. This guy this is this is this blows me away, bro. And now you've all involved boxing. It's ridiculous. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, just remember one thing, Corey. I see you hitting the pads with your trainer and the bodysuit. He's not hitting you back. That's what you all have to realize. None of you realize people hit you back. Fighters, real life fighters hit you back. So you can hit the mitts and the pads and look sharp all you want there. They're not hitting you back, so you're not impressing real fighters. So stop posing as a real fighter. I keep talking shit. <laughs> when I see you, you're going to wind up with more than crust on your lip. When I see you, you're going to wind up with a fat lip. Keep talking your shit. I'm telling you. Barking up the wrong tree. Backstory. This is Pauly Mala D-Bag. He's an ex-professional boxer who's been calling me out on the radio for months now. Said I wasn't man enough to see him in public. Well, I saw him. How's your cut, G? How's your cut, G? Oh, oh, oh. Somebody tell him if he wants his neck back, I got it. Uh, no, he didn't beat me up. He tried to tackle me, then I picked him up like he was my son that I was taking out of the playground. Look, I'm carrying him away. Come here! And then the security guards actually broke me up from him. I had him on my shoulders. I was gonna take him to damn time out. Some people are upset that I smacked Polly Malinaji in the back of the head the other day. That, that guy used to spit on people. He has actually spit on people. And you're mad that I gave him a little love tap in the back of the head? I've been hit by the barber at the barber shop with baby powder harder than I hit Polly Malinaji. And some of you are upset.